Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, they do not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. Okay, guys, so we are concluding now. We are finishing. You know, we are speaking about a fact, you know, that you can't differentiate between the voice of our Father and the voice of Jesus. You understand? Even though it's not necessarily important, but when you grow and you listen to them, because Jesus says, if you obey his commands, me and my father will come and uh, live in you and speak to you and reveal ourselves to you. You understand? So that revealing word is very important because daddy does nothing uh, except through Jesus. You understand? Uh, in fact, once I made this example, I said that it is as if, not that it is, but I said it is as if uh, daddy is standing behind Jesus. Yet when you look at him, you see Jesus. You understand? How so? It's because Jesus says that me and the father are one. You understand? So daddy does nothing except through Jesus. That's why he says in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. You understand? So you need to understand those things. So daddy will speak to you as his father. Guys, remember, daddy is our father. He is our father. Jesus has never claimed to be our father. Jesus is our Lord. He's our king. He's our master. He's our husband. He's our elder brother. He's our friend. He's our teacher. He's many things, but he has never claimed to be our father. You understand? So he can, because he's also a prophet, speak, you know, uh, to you directly as himself. But daddy can also speak through him. You understand? In fact, I remember because I was listening to the podcast and i realized that oh wait a minute i made a mistake here i said that we can't see the similitude of our father that was a mistake and i decided not to uh redo it because i wanted to quote it later so that guys you will be aware that everything must be in line with the way to understand you see if you uh go to act of the apostles there is this martyred christian uh his name was um stephen and when he, he was being stoned to death. He said, I'm seeing the Lord standing next to God. You understand? In other words, he was seeing the similitude of our father and Jesus standing there next to him. But he wasn't necessarily seeing dead, dead, as in like he can give you a description of dead. He can't. Dead has never given a description of himself. So he can never reveal himself to anyone. You understand? But his similitude, yes, you can. You know, I remember Moses asked to see him and daddy said, no, 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 no. Moses, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Moses, no one will see me. If you see me, you will die. You understand? And I remember Isaiah. I can't remember whether it's Isaiah 6, me and my dementia. Isaiah was speaking about the fact oh, that he's got wings and what, what, and what not. You understand? You go there. And daddy did not necessarily give, you know, his whole description, but he was saying that, you understand, uh, giving beats about himself. That's why he said, Moses, I can show you my back, but me, my face, you ain't gonna see me, you understand? But he does reveal Jesus. So daddy will reveal his similitude. He will. He will. If you have those um, divine gift, that divine gift to see the things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven, you can see his similitude and Jesus standing next to him. Yet you can see Jesus, you understand? As I've said that in Hebrews 10 verse 5, uh, he says that uh, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire. So a body you prepared for me. Then I said, I have come, O oh Lord, in the uh as it's written in the scroll about me, to do your will. I have come to do your will. You understand? So Jesus has actually given us the description of himself. He says, my head is as white as snow, meaning from the neck area up, he says, is as white as snow. My hair is as white as snow. My eyes are blazing with fire. You understand? He revealed that through uh, the old covenant prophet he revealed it to the disciples you understand he still reveals it to this day so jesus reveals daddy reveals jesus but he doesn't reveal himself you understand but you can see his similitude now uh we said that there is no way uh jesus can look like any person here on earth jesus can never look like any race here on earth because jesus number one he already existed in heaven before coming here mary could not have sex with joseph and give birth to jesus why jesus one or already existed in heaven secondly uh jesus is a god you understand but he says a body is prepared for me meaning i'm going to be put in a body now if jesus is uh put in the body of mary jesus has to resemble 
the body of Mary physically. But the real Jesus, we know how he looks like he has already told us. Guys, let's conclude that. I decided to uh, repeat this because in the previous part in this um talking about the same thing i said that you can't see the similitude of our father and that was a mistake i was not even uh, meaning to say that i don't know how it must have been a slip of a tongue so i decided to say oh let me leave it like that i will correct it later so that you would also get to understand that you need to correct mistakes so you see guys when jesus said to me nini never lie about my word stick to my word that left a huge burden on me, you understand? Because pastors are busy, busy lying about his word, carrying the Bible and preaching their, their own things, you understand? Guys, you need to know something. Human beings are important, just not that important, you understand? Their teachings cannot take us to heaven. Their teachings cannot take us to where Jesus is, you understand? If a church tells you that you should pray to uh, to Mary or to this thing they call Rosary. If you live here on earth, you can't go to heaven. Why? Jesus did not say that. If a church tells you that God works together with ancestors, the Zion churches, you, when you die physically, you can't go to Jesus' kingdom. Why? Jesus did not say that. You can't go to heaven because Jesus did not. Those are human beliefs. Human are important, just not that important. They are puffed up. Thirdly, if a church tells you that there are still more books of prophets that are added to the word, that is not so. Jesus told uh, John, he says, do not edit or omit. You know, anyone who add or omit uh, these plagues written in the book of Revelation will befall them. You understand? So any church, like the Mammon church saying that there are more books contradicting the word, you can't make it to heaven when you live here on earth. You understand? Because those are human beliefs. Any church that tells you that there is no hell, like Jehovah's Witness, when you die physically, you can't go to heaven. Why? That is a human belief because Jesus did say there is hell. You understand? Any church that tells you that you should run after riches, that things of the world are blessings and you're doing your own will and once saved, saved forever. When you die here physically, you can't go to heaven why jesus did not say that even if you do get saved that belief will kill you because you will die spiritually by the actions that would come from that belief you understand so human beings are not that important so guys we tend to correct any mistake you understand so i usually listen to this show as well and i listen to the podcast because i need to make sure that there are no mistakes when i realize there is a mistake i can't uh publish that you understand but here i said okay let me leave it like that and i will correct it so that they will also be away you understand guys i remember my sister when she was still alive she said to me you know what if you if you were a pastor no one will come to your church no one your church will be empty <laughs> And I said, thank God I'm not a pastor. Thank God I'm not going to have to impress people and lie and bring my own uh, beliefs so that people will follow me. I'm guys, I want you to hear me very well. I'm not looking for a follower. Please, please, you understand? Follow Jesus, you understand? If you want to get notifications of the podcast, it is okay, but do not follow me. You follow Jesus. I hope I'm speaking to the sheep, only the sheep, you understand? So that is very important. I wanted to make that clear, you understand? Understand. Now, guys, there are two things. While concluding, there are two things. Because first, I, I wanted to correct that mistakes that no, you can see the similitude of our father, but you can't see him. Yet, yes, you can see um, Jesus though, because that is still reveals Jesus as he did back in the days before Jesus came here. And also, uh, he did it with the disciples. He still does to this day, you understand. But he will not show himself, you understand. Now, uh, while concluding, you know, uh, previously, I said that number one uh you need to know that just because a person is a prophet it doesn't mean that every time they open their mouth it is daily speaking through them no 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 no. and i made an example with Eli and samuel samuel is a is actually a kid and uh uh Eli is is is, is actually a priest but Eli is recognizing the fact that uh samuel is called to the to be a prophet, to understand. But it's not that every time Samuel speaks, it's daily speaking, no. But there will be a switch where uh, daddy will be speaking through Samuel. But there are times, in fact, many are times, where Samuel would speak as Samuel, you understand? So it takes a, a mature person to recognize the switch. So do not say that, oh, this person is a prophet and you take everything they say. Sometimes they speak as themselves, you understand? So that is very, very important, very important, particularly in this generation where 
many prophet, if not 98%, anyone who calls themselves a prophet, I just arise, I stay away because many have crossed over. Why? When you sin after knowing the truth, you die spiritually. You understand? That's what we actually want to speak about in this one. But uh, in finishing also, the second thing we spoke about was the fact that Jesus said a statement in the Gospel of Matthew 25. He said that the day when he comes back to rapture, he doesn't know of the day. He only knows of the signs. So he gave us the signs through the prof I mean, through, through the disciples, you understand? So uh, you cannot know of that day if Jesus doesn't know. I remember in Y2K, guys, I was still a, a kid and we were told that that year, in, in year 2000, uh, it was the end of the world. You know, prophets were coming up claiming that it's the end of the world. And right now, I'm reading the word and I'm like, Jesus says he doesn't know of the day. How can uh, anyone claim to know of the day? Mm. Guys, you see, guys, human beings are important, just not that important. You need to know that. Let us not be puffed up, you understand? You can't be vice God. Jesus is the word of our Father. In the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was God with God. So if Jesus says he doesn't know of that day, you can't know of that day. Let's make that clear. Understand, guys? Please, 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 please let us not stick with people's beliefs. Human beings are important, just not that important. You need to understand that. But now, in concluding, guys, I was, um, I'm actually speaking about the fact that many have crossed over. Suppose uh, you are a prophet and obviously you have the gift of prophesying. But if you continue in sin after knowing the truth, you will die spiritually, you understand? And let's say you uh, die physically today and you stand in front of my Lord, you understand? And then my Lord says, I don't know you. Oh, but I was a prophet, but I was prophesying, I was healing, I was performing miracles. Jesus says, I don't know you. Why? When you continue in sin, you die spiritually. So Jesus will say that he doesn't know you. I don't know how many people who go to church Jesus has denied. Why? They continued in sin. You understand? So what happens is that you cross over. You will not realize because that gift will still be there. Why? That gift is yours. When the Holy Spirit leaves, depart, he doesn't take the gift with him. He leaves you with those gifts. So you'll continue healing. You'll continue performing miracles. You'll continue um, doing all healing. You understand? doing all these things and prophesying, you understand? As you see pastors, you know, these famous pastors appearing on TV, you know, performing miracles, you know, uh, prophesying and healing, yet you hear that they are busy having sex outside marriage. You hear that they are busy loving money. In fact, they are preaching riches, everything, uh, early blessings, you know, and forever forgiveness, one save, save forever. So you understand that these people have crossed over, but because the gift is there, they can't recognize. To them, it's like, yeah, I'm still all right. So with me, guys, when Ever, I see a person, you know, uh, living in sin, not stopping, uh, uh, you know, after getting saved and they continue in sin. I don't take their dreams anymore. Whether it's dreams or what, I don't take that anymore because I know that you would have crossed over because a spiritual death is instant. It's physical death that will take time. As Adam died at the age of 980, so churches are filled with sinners. They can't die right now. They will die later, but spiritually, they died long time ago because they continued in sin. That's why Jesus kicked me out of churches. At first, I was like, Jesus, why are you kicking me out of churches? I was mad, guys. But now I sit and I'm like, oh, it's because the beliefs are not in line with his teachings. You understand? And if that's the case, I can't make it to his kingdom. And they will tell me, I won't forgive you too. You won't enter my kingdom. You understand? So now I understand. But at that time, I didn't understand that pastors were busy fooling us. You understand? So it's those things that are important guys when my lord said nini never lie about my word you understand stick to my word i realized that he's tired of people opening churches and preaching their own beliefs because they want to impress people you understand so i have that burden in me so when in fact because of that i tend to run away from human beings i don't stay too long with a human being uh, i calculate how much time i need to spend with human beings because human beings don't want to change human beings don't want steady they want to do their own things they don't want to obey him you understand so uh, i don't want jesus to say you know what so and so was listening to your show so and so was hanging out with you you were fraternizing with so and so you were socializing with so and so and so and so is spiritually dead uh uh 
that ain't gonna happen that's why i correct every mistake i make sure that i correct and if there is a mistake it's not gonna be a mistake that's going to kill you spiritually because guys i'm accountable i'm called and jesus will ask me so and say is, is dead and if that person dies spiritually we'll go to hell but i will go to hell with them as well i don't owe anyone my soul i'm not going to hell for anyone you understand so it's things like that i make it clear when i i, I, I speak my communication is clear because i'm I, i'm not trying to be harsh or offensive i just want to be clear you understand so until next guys